Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the History AI Podcast. I'm Chuck. And I'm Marco. Today, we have an incredible story about a true American legend, Chesty Puller. Oh, absolutely. Chesty Puller is a name synonymous with bravery, leadership, and an almost mythical presence in military history. So, let's start at the very beginning. Chesty Puller was born on June 26, 1898, in a small town called West Point, Virginia. His full name was Louis Burwell Puller. And it's interesting to note that Puller came from a family with a significant military background. His ancestors served in the American Revolutionary War and the Civil War. That's right. You could say that military service was in his blood. He grew up hearing stories of his forefather's bravery, which undoubtedly played a role in shaping his future. Absolutely. In fact, his cousin, George Puller, served as a lieutenant colonel in the Confederate Army during the Civil War. These stories of valor and sacrifice were part of his upbringing. Speaking of upbringing, Puller's early life wasn't just about military stories. He grew up in a relatively modest setting. His father, Matthew Puller, was a grocer, and his mother, Martha Puller, was a homemaker. That's quite a contrast to the life he later led. It's said that young Puller was quite active and showed leadership qualities from a young age. He was known for being headstrong and determined, even as a child. Those traits definitely foreshadowed the man he was to become. Now, his education was also a key part of his early years. He attended the Virginia Military Institute, following in the footsteps of his ancestors. That's right, but here's a twist, he didn't graduate from there. World War I was raging, and young Puller was eager to join the fight. He left the institute to enlist in the Marine Corps. This decision marked the beginning of what would be a remarkable military career. But it's fascinating how his early years, filled with family stories of military service and a strong educational background, set the stage for his future. Indeed. It's a classic tale of a young man inspired by his heritage and driven by a deep sense of duty. From the grocery store in West Point, Virginia, to the battlefields across the world, Chesty Puller's journey is nothing short of extraordinary. Imagine if he had chosen to be a baker instead. With his determination, we'd probably be talking about the world's most disciplined doe. Now, let's dive into the early combat experiences and the World War II battles of Chesty Puller. Puller's military journey began in earnest in 1918 when he enlisted in the Marine Corps. However, the war ended before he could be sent overseas. His real combat debut came later in Haiti as part of the Shangdamari de Haiti. That's right, Marco. In Haiti, he participated in over 40 engagements during the Haitian Rebellion, honing his leadership and combat skills. This experience was crucial in shaping his military tactics and leadership style. It was in Nicaragua, though, where Pula truly made a name for himself. Between 1928 and 1933, he participated in a series of engagements. His actions there earned him his first Navy Cross for leading a successful engagement against superior numbers an early display of the courage and tactical brilliance he became famous for. Now, let's fast forward to World War II, where Puller's legend really grew. His first major engagement was at Guadalcanal in 1942. Guadalcanal was a crucial battle in the Pacific Theater. Puller commanded the 1st Battalion, 7th Marines. His leadership during the Battle of Henderson Field was exemplary. Under his command, his battalion successfully repelled a series of intense Japanese attacks. This battle earned him his second Navy Cross. And his tactics during the battle are still studied in military schools today. He was known for his aggressive combat style and his ability to inspire his men under the harshest conditions. Then came the Battle of Cape Gloucester. Here, Puller 7th Marines played a key role in securing the island of New Britain. His strategies in amphibious warfare were crucial in the success of this operation. And let's not forget the brutal Battle of Peleliu in 1944. This was one of the fiercest battles in the Pacific. Puller's unit was again in the thick of it, facing tough Japanese resistance. His leadership under fire was exceptional, earning him his third Navy Cross. Throughout World War II, Puller's reputation as a fearless and effective leader only grew. His men admired him, 
and his superiors respected his judgment and tactical acumen. His actions in these battles were not just about winning, they were about leading from the front and setting an example of bravery and resilience. Exactly Chuck. Chesty Puller's experiences in World War II solidified his status as one of the most respected and decorated Marines in American history. Let's dive into Chesty Puller's World War II leadership. His service during this period truly showcases his military genius. It all starts with the Guadalcanal Campaign in 1942. As the commander of the 1st Battalion, 7th Marines, Puller played a pivotal role in the first major offensive by Allied forces against the Japanese Empire. Guadalcanal was a crucial turning point in the Pacific theater. Puller's battalion was responsible for defending a key airfield, Henderson Field, which was critical for controlling the sea lanes around the Solomon Islands. The Battle of Henderson Field was one of the most intense. Puller's battalion faced a series of night attacks by Japanese forces. He was known for his frontline leadership, often placing himself in the thick of battle to direct his troops. That's right. His tactics were a blend of aggression and careful planning. He used machine gun placements effectively and maintained strong defensive positions, which were crucial in repelling the Japanese assaults. His actions during the Battle of Edson's Ridge, a part of the Guadalcanal campaign, were particularly noteworthy. Here, Puller's leadership helped to prevent a potentially disastrous breach in the American defensive lines. For his valor and leadership at Guadalcanal, Puller received his second Navy Cross. He next commanded the 7th Marines in the Battle of Cape Gloucester. Cape Gloucester was another critical battle in New Britain. The objective was to capture the island's airfields. Puller's 7th Marines landed under harsh weather conditions, which made the operation even more challenging. Despite the difficult terrain and strong Japanese defenses, Puller led his Marines with the same tenacity he had shown at Guadalcanal. His ability to adapt to the challenging jungle environment and his tactical acumen were key factors in the successful capture of the airfields. Then, there's the Battle of Peleliu. It's considered one of the most difficult battles because of the well-entrenched Japanese positions and the challenging terrain of the island. Absolutely. Puller's unit was again at the forefront, facing fierce resistance. Despite suffering heavy casualties, his leadership was instrumental in achieving the objectives. His concern for his men's welfare and his courage under fire further cemented his reputation among his troops. Throughout these battles, Puller showed remarkable resilience and an unyielding spirit. His leadership style was direct and hands-on, which earned him the respect and loyalty of his men. And his impact went beyond just tactics and bravery. He was a symbol of the Marines' fighting spirit, a beacon of hope and strength for his men in the darkest times of the war. Chesty Puller's World War II service is a testament to his skill as a military leader, and his unwavering commitment to his country and his men. Now, we turn to a critical chapter in Chesty Puller's life, his service in the Korean War. The Korean War was a different beast altogether. In 1950, when North Korea invaded South Korea, Puller was called back into service. He took command of the 1st Marine Regiment. One of the most remarkable battles he led during this time was at the Chosen Reservoir. It was late 1950, and the conditions were brutal, freezing temperatures and a numerically superior enemy. This battle was crucial. The UN forces, primarily made up of US Marines, were surrounded by Chinese forces. Puller's leadership during this encirclement was nothing short of legendary. He famously said, We've been looking for the enemy for some time now. We've finally found him. We're surrounded. That simplifies things. This encapsulated his attitude towards combat. Despite being outnumbered, Puller orchestrated a masterful withdrawal from the reservoir. He managed to inflict heavy casualties on the enemy while evacuating his men and their equipment, including the wounded. This action at Chosen Reservoir earned Puller his 5th Navy Cross, making him the most decorated Marine in American history. This is an unparalleled achievement. His other medals and honors are just as impressive. In addition to his Navy Crosses, he received the Distinguished Service Cross, the Silver Star, and numerous others. Each decoration marks a moment where his bravery and skill saved lives and turned the tides of battle. Puller's combat philosophy was simple but effective, lead from the front and take care of your men. He was always on the front lines with his troops, which earned him immense respect and loyalty. His men said, where Chesty Puller goes, we go. 
This was more than just respect, it was total trust in his leadership. And after the Korean War, Polar continued to serve in various capacities until his retirement. His impact on the Marine Corps and military tactics continued long after he hung up his uniform. The legacy of Chesty Puller is not just in the medals and honors he received, but in the indomitable spirit he embodied, which continues to inspire Marines and soldiers around the world. His story is a testament to the courage, resilience, and leadership that define the Marine Corps. Chesty Puller is not just a hero, he's an icon. Let's explore Chesty Puller's life after his illustrious military career and leading up to his death. After his service in the Korean War, Puller continued to serve in the Marine Corps in various capacities. However, his career faced a turning point in 1955. That's right. He suffered a stroke, which unfortunately led to his forced retirement with the rank of Lieutenant General. This was in 1955, a moment that marked the end of an era for the Marines. Post retirement, Puller's life took a quieter turn. He lived in Saluda, Virginia, not far from where he was born. Despite his retirement, he remained a revered figure in the Marine community and often spoke at military events. His health, though, continued to be a concern. The stroke had lasting effects, and he faced several health challenges in his later years. Despite these challenges, Puller remained active in the Marine Corps community. He was known for his support and advocacy for veterans and active duty personnel. He also spent time writing and reflecting on his experiences. His memoir, Chesty Puller's Story, which was published posthumously, gives insight into his military life and philosophy. Puller's legacy continued in his family as well. His son, Louis Burwell Puller Jr., served in the Vietnam War. Unfortunately, he was severely wounded, an event that deeply affected Puller. Chesty Puller passed away on October 11, 1971. He was laid to rest in Christ Church Cemetery in Saluda, Virginia. His death was a significant event, marking the passing of one of the most decorated Marines in American history. His funeral was attended by many high-ranking military officials and former comrades. The legacy he left behind was evident in the respect and honor shown to him even in death. Puller's impact goes beyond his military achievements. He left behind a legacy of leadership, courage, and an unwavering commitment to his soldiers and his country. His name, Chesty Puller, continues to be synonymous with Marine Corps values and ethos. His life and career continue to inspire generations of Marines and military personnel worldwide. Indeed Marco Chesty Puller's story is not just about the battles he fought, it's about the indomitable spirit he represented. A true American hero. That wraps up our dive into the life of Chesty Puller. We thank you for joining us on this journey through his extraordinary life. And remember to subscribe, rate, and share the History AI podcast. Your support keeps stories like these alive. Until next time, I'm Chuck. And I'm Marco. Thanks for listening. And keep exploring history. From the mind behind the History AI podcast comes an electrifying journey into the past. A ripple through time, Franklin's folly. Dive into a tale where Benjamin Franklin, America's beloved inventor, takes an unexpected journey through time. But with his leap, he unleashes a powerful ripple. Now, with dark forces lurking in the shadows, harnessing this energy to shatter and enslave the world, it's a race against time. Will Franklin fix the future? Or will history rewrite itself? Uncover the secrets. A ripple through time, Franklin's folly. Time has never been more fragile. On Amazon now.